How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video today, I want to show you how to install the Packet Manager Chocolatey. For those of you that don't know what a Packet Manager is, think of it as a more convenient and efficient way to manage your applications, your software. For those of you who haven't seen my previous video, I basically showed you how to take a fresh copy of Windows 10 and then go through it and thin it out and remove all the additional bloatware, the junk, the rubbish that most people are never going to want or need on their system. So if you haven't seen that one, that might be a good precursor to this video and I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, for those of you that have seen that video and are coming to this one after, welcome back. And I will show you, as I promised in the end of the last video, how we'll install Chocolatey and um, I'll show you how it works. It's probably easier for me just to show you rather than try and explain the ins and outs of it. So without further ado, let's get going. So we go to your browser. Oh, just a quick stop. We'll go back and check. You can see here on Windows, I have nothing installed at all. This is like a bare, bare system, which is what we want. So we're going to search for Chocolatey. Fingers not working. Chocolatey. And we're going to go to website. And as you can see from here, we'll go to packages. And in these packages, the complete list of all of the various plugins, applications, things that you can find, things you want. Uh, I don't know if you use Slack. You, uh, there's probably Slack in here. Uh, yeah, there's various ones for Slack. You can look at betas and pre-releases or just stick to stable, which is probably the best. We can search by popularity, so the most popular ones will come up first. Teams. I mean, there's thousands, literally thousands of applications already in Chocolatey. So let's move forward. I'll show you how to install it. It's very simple. It's just a couple of lines of code. But we're going to need PowerShell. So let's go to PowerShell. You can find that by right mouse button in... Uh, is that buttoning? Is that a verb? I don't know. Anyway, right mouse button, start menu. Then PowerShell, you're going to need admin. Click on that. Yep. There we are. That in a bit. So you're going to need to know what your execution policy is if you've never seen this before. So we'll just copy this command. Right mouse button, paste. And mine's unrestricted. Uh, again, if you're coming from my first video, yours will probably be unrestricted as well. Um, if you're new to this, you'll probably see it say restricted. It's not a problem. All we need to do is, if you're seeing restricted, then just copy this next command. And what this command does is it's basically telling the system that you can execute all signed applications. We'll right mouse button there. Yes, we want to go ahead. And then just to check, you can go back to get execution policy. And let's just check there. Yeah, and mine's all signed now. Now, whether it's unrestricted or signed, it's fine. You can move forward. Um, and now all we do is just we run this one liner. And this is going to install the, the actual application itself, Chocolatey. I hit right mouse button. And there you go. It should come up with a, a, asking me if I want to install the script or not. It might just go straight through. Ah, uh, straight through. Great, chocolate is now installed. So let me just minimize this. I'll clear the bump. And away we go. So to show you how easy this is, think of some of the applications that you normally like to use. For me, um, one of the first things I like to install is a program called 7-Zip, which allows you to unzip and create uh, or zip archives. Very simple little program, all you do Choco install 7-zip. It's finding the package, downloading it, it's got it. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to run the script to install? Yes, I do. And that's it, it's installed. It's as simple as that, 7-zip. I don't have to go on the website. I don't have to download the executable into my downloads folder. I don't then have to double click on that and then install and then choose which folder and all of that. You don't need it at all. Let's let's try another one. Uh, so Choco 
install, uh, what else do I use? FileZilla. That's an FTP program which I like to use. So, FileZilla. It's going to search for the package. It finds it, it downloads it. Then it's going to ask me, do I want to proceed? Yes, I do. And there you go. And it's installing. It's as simple as that. You look in the start menu. I have 7-zip and I have FileZilla already there. Now, if I want to uninstall that, maybe I get fed up with it or maybe I, you know, I, I no longer want it on the system or I find something better or you do. No surprise. Choco, uninstall. FileZilla. And what this is doing now is it's finding the package as a whole, which is already installed on the system, and it's just removing it. It is as simple as that, guys. Let's just uninstall the other one again. Okay, uninstall 7-zip. Would I like to uninstall? Yes, I would. What I like about this system uh, and how easy it is, is you can very, very quickly install a long list of programs. Do I want to run the script? Yes, I do. Let it do its thing. That was a, a second sub program, like an installer package that it also wanted to remove. Let's just clear this off. Clear. I look back in my start menu. No trace. Back to fresh. So what I was saying before is because it's very easy to quickly install many applications, you can start to have them on one line. So for example, Choco install. We wanted to install 7-zip. Oops. I also want to install FileZilla again because I'm going to use it. And I also want to install another program called Tree Size Free, which is a very handy one for showing you which files are taking up all the space on your hard drive. So I'm going to hit that. And one by one, it should all just come through. You can add flags to it. Uh, yeah, I want to see this. So by flags, I mean you can do like a hyphen and then a Y which will then allow it to just proceed normally without this, without the stops, as in like asking me each time. But I mean, either way, it's, it's quick to do um, this way or the other way. It's not really a problem. So th this is super easy. So let, let it just do its thing there. It's downloaded. Once everything's all downloaded, you obviously have the applications installed. Now, Periodically, every couple of days, maybe once a week or every couple of weeks, I mean, it's entirely up to you. You might want to check to see if there's a newer version of your various uh, packages because maybe you want to update to the latest and greatest. Who knows? So there are two ways of doing it. Now, you can either go do Choco upgrade and then the individual package, like 7-zip or FileZilla or Skype or Slack or whatever, or there's a very simple one-liner which is CUP, which stands for Choco Upgrade, all, everything obviously, and then Y, which is, this is the flag, so it doesn't stop anything, it just goes through automatically. I hit enter, and it will go out to the package manager on the internet, and it checks to make sure that all of mine is the most, the latest available. Now, obviously I've just installed these, and they are by nature the most latest available. If one of these was outdated, all it would do is because I had the the Y flag at the end, it would just automatically re-download the latest version and update it, and that is it. That is all I wanted. That is all I need to do. So I've showed you how to install, I've showed you how to uninstall, and now I've showed you how to upgrade. Um, it really is just a, a, a fantastic piece of software and should save you heaps of time. One last thing I want to show you is in case you forget what you've installed. There's a simple way you can just do choco list and then dash dash local only. And that effectively gives you a complete list there of everything that you've got installed. So what I like uh, when you have a list like this, what you can essentially do is you can just copy and paste this whole list. If you start up, a, say, I don't know, this is on a desktop and you have a laptop and it's a fresh one, you just install chocolatey and then you can literally copy and paste this list and then hit enter and then your laptop will automatically start downloading all the software that you've already got on the desktop. You'll still have to configure it to some degree but it's just so much easier to manage rather than individually going out to the web 
and trying to find like I don't know I want to download Skype www.microsoft.com and then find Skype or Slack or WhatsApp or Telegram or Chrome Adobe Flash I mean everything it's just such a this is just such a much easier system at least for me anyway yeah I think that's about everything on this on this YouTube video I hope you found it interesting or at least useful <laughs> maybe interesting to bridge too far please consider giving me a like or maybe a subscription even and yeah if you haven't seen my first video check that out and I'll put that in the comments uh, section of this video and I'll also put the commands I've used so you know hopefully everything's really clear guys thank you very much thanks for watching take care bye